So my dear souls, time is fleeting, time has wings. It doesn't wait to anybody. As water is flowing through the river, if you are thirsty, you need something, have it. It will not wait for you. It has to go on its own speed, in its own direction, and is available to you. It is flowing, but it is also available to you. But if you do not avail, it will go away. And that water which has gone away, that cannot be recalled back. It is not possible. Once gone, that is gone. As the water is flowing, that what has gone away cannot be recalled back. In the same way, your life is the same. That all those moments which has gone away and you could not collect them, they have gone, they cannot be recalled back. So it is our really main duty that this big river of elixir of life, man of life, bed of life, water of life, all life and life, light, glory, beauty, knowledge, wisdom, wonderfulness which is there flowing in you that you have to collect and fill your reservoir of your mind, subconscious mind with that what is there, wonderful, that is really our lifestyle and it is having so much power in it that it will drive out all what is without suitable for you, what is hard for you, horrible for you, which you had been feeling like driving out, but you could not. As you feel like to be a good person, to be enjoying, to be happy, to be free of diseases, and problems, sufferings, worries, you had tried your life, but, but you could not, you cannot, because you are so weak, and that the suffering giving agency is so strong, much more, million times, even more than that, stronger than us. And then how we can save ourselves, protect ourselves, there is no possibility with our own single-handed efforts. It had not been possible and it will not be also possible. But in this human body, this arrangement has been made for us that we can get rid of this situation which we could not and that the help is there that we will be able to do it. And luckily, all of you have got some head already and some have got here. And now what is our aim of life? That we may be able to arrange our enjoyment and peace. It's not that if we have got a house and that we are feeling cold in the house, it is too cold and we be just burn all those things which are there in the house that we find heat. For some time, maybe two hours, three hours, four hours, we will be able to get rid of uh, the cold by burning all the furniture and even one by one the part of our, which is combustible of our house. But after that, what will happen? You will suffer much more, much harder than before. And that is not wisdom. This is uh, the criterion of the way of working of the mind. But whatever it has got, it wants to use up, use up, use up, and cannot think of future, what will be the future. This life is important for it. Even not life, not present only, present. What will happen tomorrow, it will not think. 
but the soul knows that I am eternal and I am to arrange for my eternity. So why the person suffers for today and he thinks of the tomorrow, that tomorrow which is long, long tomorrow, which is eternal tomorrow, that I am to make wonderful, nice, and that one day suffering and then eternity you are to enjoy, that is really wisdom. Then you will come to know that I have done some work of wisdom. But I am 100% sure to inform you that this wisdom is only in your soul, which is from God. Mind is just opposite to it. Surely, certainly, 100% it is to put us on the way of destruction. And if you do not believe in me or previous masters or the scriptures, then who you can believe? Who is there to believe? There is nobody who is believable, no understanding, no feeling. Everybody who is working at the level of mind and intellect is not to be heard, not to be listened, not to be depended upon because all of them, they are misled horribly. They are all in darkness. Only you can get some guidance. Who is not in darkness? Who, is, who has found the way of life? And who has contacted the kingdom of God and God? And who has also some kind of authority or understanding that he can also show you, not only tell you, but even show you and give you and also travel with you, a co-traveler, a person who just tells you something that this is way, that is also good. But uh, you are so weak, you have no legs, you cannot walk, you have the whole, how you will go? The telling, telling will not help you. You need help. That is, uh, you are to be taken up by that person or he has to treat you <coughs> that uh, you can walk. And he has also given you some lamp. Is there darkness? That you may find your way and that light may be also living life, light, which can tell you the way which will lead you, you are not to take the light, light is there to take you, to guide you. That kind of light is needed. And there is also somebody needed who is to protect us against all onslaughts of our negative powers, thieves and records, robbers, killers, which are there in abundance when we are traveling on the way of life. However, when we are going towards we have destruction, then all are there with us. All they will help us. Okay, go on, go on, go on. And you will find help everywhere, everywhere. But in the end, you will find death void. In the end, you will find death void. And that they will take away all what you have got and go on giving you what you have got, they will take away, then they will go on giving you, then you will feel they are my friends. They give everything to me, they serve me everything. They are very nice person, they are my friends. But you do not know that they are enjoying from you and you are also given from yourself. Your own stocks are being used up and there is nothing they can give you. They have taken only used to you. And in the end, then you find your eyes are open, then you find that all they are gone, no one is there. And now you are all alone, nothing is there. And debts are there upon you, and the debtors are there who are catching you. And you are in trouble, nobody is there to help you now. 
and that is the condition of the man in this world that such a treachery is going on. I have been speaking of, of such a like topic all along in these 10 days. I don't want this. I want to, to talk something good. <laughs> something nice, something wonderful. Okay, enjoy, enjoy, my dear, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. <laughs> but it is not possible. How can I say you that this is the ocean, oh, enjoy the ocean? Because you were drawing in it. You can, I cannot say enjoy. I can say, okay, close your eyes and keep sitting in this boat. And don't look around anywhere. Be patient, be patient. And you will find the uh, seashore and where you will find all these things wonderful, all safe. And you will be able to enjoy. You will find your destination. But as yet you are not to open the eyes, keep it closed and don't look around. There is nothing around. It is only destruction. It is only death. You will be drowned down there. So what should I say to you? You should enjoy. I can only say, please, there is something inside. Work for this enjoyment. This also I know that inside also there is no enjoyment for you. I'm sorry for that. There is, but it has been totally destroyed. Or some poisons have been mixed uh, with all these uh, uh, um, elixirs, bread of life, water of life, and all what was enjoyable inside, that is also not available to be enjoyable. Inside also when you go, you will have to fight with the so much negativity, and your body is not cooperating, some kind of uneasiness is there in the body, mind is very much working hard, hard and hard, running outside, and darkness is there, and you cannot feel any attraction inside, no sweetness, no peace. Although at the time of initiation, master provides that there is something, but later on, uh, this uh, onslaught or negative power becomes stronger and stronger and stronger. And that is also for some purposes, not that it is all useless, that if there is uh, some dirt in your house and it is kept, kept closed and you are only shown the beautiful house, your beautiful house will be available to you. But at certain time, that dirt will also be available. And at that time, you will be too weak, dirt will be too much increased and so much strong that you will not be able to handle it. If in the beginning, in the young age, and you are having difficulties and problems, you have power to deal with those. And there are ways and means. But when you become old, weak, even little difficulties and problems you will not be able to fight with. Those problems and suffering will really be hard for us at that later stage. <coughs> this is the time with us in this human body. We can clean our house, clear all what is uh, rubbish, thorns and thistles and scorns, scorpions and snakes, etc. And then our future in this house will be wonderful, easy, and uh, only those things which are suitable, which are really wonderful, which are enjoyable, you will be enjoyed to, uh, forever, for eternity. So, this uh, darkness, uh, this uneasiness, with all these problems and suffering, uh, is uh, really a blessing in disguise, uh, that this uh, time in which you are to clean up, clean up yourself, clean your house. And whatever goes on coming hard and or harder, even from outside, go on lovingly. If somebody smites you on the right face, right cheek, of your left also. And wash the feet of everybody. 
as Master had, uh, washed the feet of his disciples. And his disciples then asked the question, Dear Master, it is our duty to wash your feet, but why you are doing opposite? Why you are doing this? He told that I am telling you that if I do, do to you something, you may also do to each other. And that don't reply in the same hard thing, somebody is hard to you. You should not lose your own ways. You should not lose your own ways. <coughs> there was Saint, Saint Kabir, he was trying to take out a scorpion which was flowing in the river to save it. And when he was ascending it, his hand, the uh, uh, scorpion was biting according to its nature and he was with pain put down the head. Again he was ascending the hand. And then second time again he was bitten by the uh, scorpion. Third time again he was ascending his hand. And then the companion was saying, my dear, what are you doing? Again it will not sting you. You will not be hurt. Yes, I know. I will be hurt. Then why you are um, feeling like again getting hurt from it? And I want to save him. I want to protect him. It's my duty. If I can protect or save somebody, I must. Otherwise, God would say that I have been given some power, some energy. If there is somebody who is helpless, hopeless condition, and that is too weak to help himself, and you can help, why didn't you help? What face I will have to show to God? What reply I will have to give at that time? That I am remembering, I know. But don't you know that he doesn't like to be helped? No, he likes to be helped. He's struggling for safety. You see how he's struggling. But why he is uh, um, biting the Savior? We want to save him because he doesn't know. It is his ignorance. And that he feels like working all upon, uh, according to his nature. His nature is like that. And just to two give bite, uh, some kind of biting to all. One may be enemy, one may be uh, friend. He has no discrimination. If he has not any discrimination, any knowledge, any wisdom, at least I have got. If someone is poor, let him be poor. If someone is uh, a hey, uh, uh, sinner, that him that the sinner. Should I be also become sinner? Because that one is sinner. I should try to remain myself if I am good and try to make him also good to change him, change the other one. This is the lifestyle of a man because man has got some knowledge, some wisdom. But he has not been able to awaken himself in this knowledge and wisdom, which is really, we are also very much negative. If somebody smites us on the right cheek, we try to kill that person. Or if he kill, uh, hit that person five times, four times more than other one has hit us, and then only we, uh, we feel satisfied. But will it help? It will not help. If a child is hit by other child, one uh, fist, he will then by, uh, hit the other one four or five. And after he had bitten four or five times, then he feels satisfied. And then he will not feel uh, hard. Now what is the difficulty? What he has got, that what was the pain of one hit from the other child, it has gone down, it has uh, lost its effect upon it. No, it is only the mind. That his suffering is suffering 
and but he has created more suffering to the other one and that he is happy and now the other one will also at some time hit him till four times five times and he will again have to suffer 20 times than one in this way this is mental system that we go on sowing our seeds of hatred and uh, just animosity and we are suffering due to our own uh, uh, negative lifestyle there's nothing which can hurt us and there is also nothing which can help us it is only our horrible ill trained mind with which we are to suffer if we are keeping its commandments if we listen to him if we are kept to him it will really kill us forever for eternity we will suffer we will suffer for eternity it is only our soul through which our god will be there that we will find solution to all our problems and we will enjoy forever there will not be even hard dream in our life even any thought of hard and that which we may make us little suffer we will always smile and smile and smile and smile but tell you do not find connected god with god and kingdom of god and there is no hope so to work hard patiently and also i do not say that you should neglect your body life what is the urgent urgent services which are needed that you may go on but the other things and just the chatting or just sleeping extra or just attend to tvs or some other kinds of some people say i want to go to some excursion some vacations that is not needed your vacation is over here this is the best vacation uh, that uh, you will find vacation for all of your life for eternity you will be vacation on vacation because there is no work no responsibility and only you are to enjoy and enjoy and enjoy your vacation is in the kingdom of god when you find it so make your vacation prepare your vacation and after having your found your place of enjoyment and have also free time for vacation there no responsibility and everything you need to eat or to drink or to live upon that is also freely available to you then you can really enjoy vacation the while living in this world you cannot think of any vacation any excursions any happy trips to anybody it is only befooling ourselves and mind has been able to success be successful in this we sit in front of tv but we get out of it only mind is there successful to kill your time but the time you would have put in some wonderful very very great profitable pursuit you have just collected all negativity all negativity all materialism all health from it and after that you are only to think of those impressions which we have collected from the tv or some other thing and when you meet some person you talk about those things which we have read in the newspapers or in some magazine or you have seen in some uh, tv or heard in some radio or you have seen somewhere when you had gone to some vacation or excursion you talk about those things and you pollute the hearts of the other ones also not only yourself go on go on go on and what a hard a kind of life we had adopted are we can, can uh, uh, call out that to be little having little wisdom little knowledge little sympathy for ourselves that we may do something good for us not to kill ourselves but we have handed over ourselves to the killer the mind and the intellect 
which is working as agents of the nature power and we are to awaken ourselves and ourselves will automatically find its own friend and own home and own way of living and own way of enjoyment everything will be automatically arranged and that we will be able to live that so this way which is real way which has been told by all the masters who came from god it is also same written in holy bible as the great master lord christ which we have respect but i respect perhaps more than you also because you have little idea of him you have heard something about him you might have read something about him but you have seen him who has really enjoyed some time with him he knows better he can realize better and he can really enjoy better that intuition that and that is there when you find master inside then you will come to know what master is other from the outer physical body of the master through the eyes of your physical body you will not be able to really enjoy him or understand him something is there available from him but father he says go inside to your inner master inner blessings where you will find all things in purity in original here what master says had to pass through some dirty drains the clean water which is passing through dirty drains is polluted it is not in original purity all this information which is being given to you to your intellect and your mind is all adulterated and after some time you forget also you forget also because the mind and intellect have no receptivity to anything from god which is good it is receptive it will remember all those things which are there from the native power from materialism what matter has is power that he directly are for it uh in in such like x ray he that reaches your heart your soul and awakens it and crunches it and goes on working upon it and also big go on making stronger and stronger in in the god and kingdom of god <coughs> and that you begin to work as soul and that the control of mind and intellect and the world situation goes down and that is worthwhile that you can live with that if you are in the hands of your enemies you are feeling like like now i am at any time they will kill me at any time they will kill me at any time they will kill me because their enemies and all daggers in their hands as they can use at any time this is our condition but we are not allowed to know this condition as they do their work successfully and we do not know it and we will know when we are done away with when everything is finished that is very hard situation then what we will be able to do nothing then we will have only to bear and bear a long long time long long times i have not tell you these things to give you some kind of a scaredness that you may not be able to enjoy this life my dear idea is to enjoy forever from now on and master range like that and when he initiates or accepts somebody from that time he begins to work upon you that all your sufferings are mitigated more and more more and more some of you destroy the sufferings with your meditations with your faith and love for the master and also with your seva services in the mission of the master and others which you could not master takes to his own self and suffers and for his dear children 
and that from so much, so much you are dead. But there is still so much, maybe say little at least, but that little also is so much, too much for you. Because you are not to carry any further, any account. If you are to pay one million dollars to somebody, and you have to pay in some days, ten days before going away, it will be very hard for you. But if it is to be paid in one year or two years or three years, then it will be easier because it will be in small installments. All these people of the world, they are not to leave this world, they have to stay in this world. So Nathapav is not very much uh, uh, vigilant or careful that uh, it is to collect all its uh, dues before it leaves its region, its control. So it goes on. It doesn't demand even. It doesn't ask even. But rather goes on giving more and more debts, more and more debts of, that they can be collected later on. This will not be lost. But when you are initiated, this is a last life. And the standard of life is the only one which you have to suffer in the control of the power. And that master has also arranged that all the accounts which we have read in the past, maybe in the millions of years, are to be cleared off, cleared off. Because if it, this even one action which is left, in till the end, uh, that is not paid off. That is still lying on the account of the native power. Master will not be able to take you. And native power will not allow you. And that you will have to come again in this world to pay off that for, for one small karma even. Again, new life will have to be given to you. And then it is very necessary that uh, the master arranges you cannot arrange, you do not know even. And that uh, everything uh, till the last moment is all cleaned out. And that last moment, then a master appears and attracts all the attention of uh, the initiator that uh, there is no thought or no attraction to anything of this world because even at the last moment if you attend to something, uh, or think of somebody, or have little attraction to something, that will also become your karma, and you will have to pay for that, you will again, again to come back, and there, there's no time for that, that at last moment, while living in the physical body, you have raised some account that will go with you, then how you can be rid of the cultures of this mind and matter? That is also arranged that the master appears after all these things have been cleaned out, then he is there and is fully occupying all mind, heart, body of the initiate and is filling with his own love, his own stuff, own blessings and those are to only lift him up, to take him up and up, up and up and to help him releasing all uh, the downward pull from the native power. And this way, Master with his own sympathy, power and intelligence is able to uh, get you rid of this horrible, most horrible situation of the negative power, power which has been created by it, especially on the human beings. And that we are free for our for eternity. Otherwise, with our own efforts, which we are uh, firstly made ignorant of everything, it's never possible. It's never possible that if uh, a person is blind and you ask him that you now read, you go home, he will run more and more, more and more into wilderness. Now he is somewhere, 
he knows and some other people also know but when he is left alone and allowed to go somewhere uh, allowed to go to his house then instead of going to his house he will be lost he will be lost then this is our condition so we have to have our eyes we have to have our way known and we have to know our destination and we should know that this place which we are now living in it is not our home it is not for us to stay it is only a working field field of action and after doing our favorable action which is there to favor us we are to uh, find with our action our destination and then after that we are not in action after leaving the physical body we are then taken away of all the all this authority or necessity to act because when you are sitting in the bus or in the car then it is the duty of the driver and the car to take you further then you have not taken your seat in the car you are running you are looking the way here and there all the difficulties of the way we are there for you to look for that and you are to work for that and you have to work for reaching the car where there is and you can sit you can close your eyes you can relax you can sleep also automatically everything will be done for you you are not worried for that but if you do not find the car do not reach there then you are always in danger always struggling always lost and there is no place where you can relax so this is the way of life that we are to struggle in this world by reaching ourselves and find this winds of the light and sound which will take us up and when we are connected with the light and sound keep connected it will take you it will take you you are not worry where you are going and you will reach your home where you are going to relax is not really understandable and that we are day and night day and night in problems troubles and suffering and difficulties because we have not found that automatic happen factor in our life and we have to work with our mind and intellect and body and they are only to spoiling themselves they are blind they are deaf and they have no understanding no feeling and they will only have to go astray and to suffer this is very clear 100% clear and that uh, we have to awake soul so that everything which is useful that is also clear and what is harmful negative that is also clear to us and we are having our knowledge and wisdom and in that knowledge and wisdom which is of soul from god in the name of god that is to help us that is available to us and all that which is misunderstanding misguidance which is given to us in this world from the mind and intellect to the body to the worldly information to the worldly connections that is to be ignored if these are ignorable this will this decision will be there uh, automatically uh, from your soul either it will ignore or it will modify it will control it will change that all these enemies enemies are your friends and all these poisons have been changed into a medicines or a laser and that everything which is harmful that is no more harmful and everything is useful then you can use it this world will also become usable nice and wonderful 
but uh, with the, the efforts of competent one, with the help of competent one who can handle it, who can, who knows it, and whose control it can work. It will not control, but it will be controlled to the power of God, which will be working in our soul. So my dear, I think you have understood intellectually, but you will forget very quickly. And that your mind has also accepted little. Thank to mind also that it has accepted something. But it is only due to the control or effect of your soul through the intellect and mind and also to the blessings of the master that he has really worked upon your mind and mind is not so hard mind now. It's a little softer. It's a little better. It's a little easier. So it will not hurt you, it will not disturb you so much as it had been hurting you before. You will be able to meditate easily. You will be able to do seva also more easily, comfortably. And that the mission of Mahatma will also be more acceptable to you. And all these worldly distractions of TV or other useless or negative or very, very horrible poisonous and our tendency of the mind will be also decrease. So mind will become little better in this time, but this power is it will go on further increasing and because the master is still there with you. If he is in physical body with you and helped you, he is also there inside you to help you. And that if you keep contact with him inside, Maybe even through the holy light and holy sound, that is also has the purest forms of God and Master inside. And that it will be helping you more and more, more and more, and purifying you as soul, strengthening you as soul, and weakening your mind and all these its negative tendencies and all these agencies which are there to hurt you, to disturb you, to destroy you, will automatically will become weaker because the mind is connected with all these. Our mind is the, the source of power to all these negative agencies. And all those goodnesses will be coming up from every part of your connections, maybe from letters, friends, families, or your concerns, through the activity and power of and control of the soul, because soul is having positive control and positive attitude, everything will be made positive for you. With the help of the power of the soul which you have generated through the connection of holy light and sound, and it will also take you even to the form of the mortar inside, and will also take you to God, and you will finally find you are the uh, highest life which is of the perfection as that of God. So my dear, I have tied my level best, and that and according to your condition of mind and receptivity, you have also found everybody of you. And but what you have found now, after today, further you are to nourish it. If you take some seed, that is a small plant, from the gardener, and he has planted that small plant in you, which is of a nice fruit tree, then you are also to take care of it, protect it from any dangerous animals, and also go on watering it, and taking care of it, it will grow, and it will become really a someday fruit tree of which it was the seed and which was the, for the purpose you have got it that will be fulfilled. In this life and what you will find inside in this life that will go with you. 
that is for you, that is yours, that you can say, this belongs to me. What is outside in this world, even the body, or all connections which are there of the body, this will not go with us, it will remain over here, and everything connected with it will also remain over here, and we will be deprived of everything, we will have nothing. Those people who are having everything of this world will go from this world with all debts and debts, debts and debts upon them and nothing credit. But those who will find inside what is there from God and kingdom of God, they will enjoy everything over here of the world also and inside also. But when they go, then they will go back what they have earned inside, inside here, over here, God and kingdom of God, I will enjoy for our eternity. I will go on getting everything, everything complete and perfect, life even as that of God. Is this not a really a profitable and useful business? Should not be wise persons why person is that person who is creating some goodness, peaceful or enjoyment for oneself? He once feels like hurting or killing oneself. That cannot be uh, uh, called one's own friend. We are our own enemies. This is the thing that the mind and body and intellect had been working in this direction. But our soul is there to work for our uh, uh, sake in our favor. This you are to be sure that if there is anything, anybody for you, it is your own self as soul and you are God yourself and the kingdom of God is also your own creation. It is not, it is something else you are to find. You have to create it, you have created it, and it has to serve you in a conscious state that if you have somewhere your home, you are not to go to your home. And you feel, I want my home, the home will be there. And if there is anything that you want to be done, it will do itself and will uh, come to you, now I am here, complete and perfect, as you wanted. You wanted a car, it, I am here. You wanted a horse, I am here. You want food, I am here. That dual power of God, your dual power of soul, will uh, be working in your uh, heart, with your uh, thoughts, and everything will be coming to you. You are not to go to anything. You are not to work on anything. That is what you can call mine, which is for me, and which is, uh, uh, I can enjoy. Although anything is told, is not belonging to us. We are running after everything. They don't run after us. So they do not belong to us, we belong to them. We are bound to them, they are not bound to us. When we go from this world, then we suffer the bondages which we have created in our life through this worldly things. And therefore, we have to pay the law of karma. This law of karma is based only on these connections which we had established in this world, in this life. And therefore, we have not earned anything, but we have lost ourselves. And we have uh, pieces, pieces and pieces of us have been uh, thrown and fitted in all these things. And all what we have lost here and there, here and there, there here and there, how you will collect all yourself? And how will you make yourself one? and how you will feel yourself. 
تھا اٹ از ناٹ پاسبل بٹ اسٹل گاڈ پاور ہیز اٹس اون وے اینڈ دیٹ از تھرو ہاں دی ارینجمنٹس آف دی ہیلتھ دیز آر آلسو پرگریٹ دیز آر آلسو ہیلپنگ سسٹم ریٹ آل دیز ریزن ود وچ وی ہیو بین اسکیٹرڈ اسکیٹرڈ اینڈ اسکیٹرڈ دین وی پے آف اینڈ ڈو اے ود آل دیز ریزن اینڈ وی آر کلیکٹنگ آور سیلز کلیکٹنگ آور سیلز کلیکٹنگ آور سیلز اینڈ وین وی آر اگین ان آور سیلز اگین وی آر الاؤڈ ٹو کم ان دی ہیومن باڈی دیٹ ناؤ مائی ڈیئر یو ہیو بین میڈ اگین ہول اینڈ یو آر ناؤ ان یو آر سیلف ناؤ ڈونٹ اگین کٹ یو آر سیلف ان ٹو پیسز ڈونٹ بی ایڈجسٹ ٹو اینڈ تھنگ ٹائی ٹو بی ان یور اون سیلف وٹ یو آر ناؤ ایز سول and be one with your great self wonderful self real self so that you live over there with that real self forever for eternity and never more you are cut into pieces and just scattered away and that you are no more available anymore that should not be the condition for you is this not understandable is not the truth your mind may or may not accept it but you will realize it at the level of soul so my dear i have enjoyed your presence only for the reason that we have been able to think of or talk of something useful something good for ourselves and where shall we find something useful and good for future and for now even that we can say good and these are good moments but we have found we find only negativity even in sitting in front of tv it will attract you your mind but in in we will in front of the tv you would be excited your mind will not be peaceful your heart will not be peaceful your body will not be peaceful there is some kind of turmoil what is happening what is happening some curiosity some curiosity will be there you will not as the child goes into the lap of the mother and then mother finds the child then child feels like relaxing and goes to sleep and there is no curiosity there is no danger there is nothing attraction neither for good neither for bad neither in danger neither any love some kind of flow is there which is going on at that and joy is that a continuous flow of love which can be never change into hatred never any other kind of change it will go on go on it is an example what we will be finding in now lap of our father god how we will enjoy over there not any kind of curiosity not any changes or not any kind of turmoil or some kind of good sometimes bad but always something which is fresh and fresh new and new wonderful and wonderful no doubt feelings are like that but it will remain continuously 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 for eternity never any change because god is unchangeable permanence and his uh, all blessings are also of the same kind and we are also of the same kind as soul but our body and mind and intellect are totally opposite to it so please get rid of this system this is outside and you will enjoy uh, here and here after everywhere it will be okay okay my dear now you may prepare yourself for meditation